Hello people, this is once again yours truly. In this video, I'd like to share with you my thoughts on sharing presets. In general, I do not share presets. And let me explain to you why that is. Okay, um, so I've, I have three major reasons why I don't share presets. First one would be, presets don't make you understand anything better when it comes to mixing, or at least not much. And for that, I will also not make you any false hopes with giving you my presets. Second one would be, I will not support laziness. And third one would be, uh, they would make my tutorials kind of pointless. And let me go into detail of all those points now. First one was, uh, yeah, presets don't make you understand anything better. Uh, when I started off with this whole mixing shebang, I also looked through a bunch of presets for Superior Drummer and for the Podix 3 and also EQing presets from Cubase and whatnot. But instead of helping me out, they rather confused me much more. And the reason for that is Although presets might tell you how certain things are done, they will not tell you why certain things are done. For example, when you're fairly new to mixing, and for example, you're still kind of struggling how to use a compressor, let's take for example a kick drum, then in a preset you might see how they compress the kick drum and what kind of settings they use, but well, it doesn't answer you why they did it exactly the way they did. So, then you're back at square one. Second reason was, I will not support laziness. There I have to distinguish between three kinds of lazy people. And first of all, I'm, I'm really sorry if I come across kind of condescending now. It's absolutely not my attention, it's not the way I think, it's just something that bugs me, you know? Um, well, the first category of lazy people, th they might not even be considered lazy. It, it's actually something different, but somehow I just throw them all together. Um, first category would be involuntarily lazy people. Those would be the kinds who are struggling with the mix and they are not really certain how to fix it, and so they try to utilize presets to help them out. And we come back to point number one, presets will not help you out. Also, when those kinds of people ask for presets, they may think they are asking for help, but really what they are doing is they ask someone else to fix the mixing problems for them you know when you are asking for feedback on the other hand then you are asking for help because then for example I could could give you some tips how to improve it and then you would have to do it yourself so and that is something I do endorse from time to time <coughs> well the second category of lazy people would be those kinds of guys or gals who simply have to learn how to actually use their gear or the software or whatever it is. And a lot of their questions can be answered if they simply look through the manual or open their eyes and take a kind of adventurous tour through all the software they have and the interfaces they show and yeah just have fun learning how to use your stuff you know um third category of lazy people would be the deliberate lazy people, those kinds who don't care to mix the stuff themselves. Well, for those kinds of people I have two words. Not appreciated, okay? 
I mean, I, I can honestly understand why you wouldn't really want to mix it yourself because it is a lot of work and it is quite tedious, you know, and it can get quite frustrating and annoying. But I have a tip to help you out. You can hire me. <laughs> I am available for mixing jobs, for mastering jobs, for reamping or doing it all together. And yeah, the extra bucks will go into good use for the next album. So, third reason why I don't share presets is it would make my tutorials pointless. Well, think about this. Um, when you have homework, would you ask your teacher to do your homework for you? You know, that, that's the idea behind this point, because with my tutorials, I try to teach you in a way how to do it yourself, you know? And then asking me for presets would show me that you don't want to do it yourself. I also got a lot of those comments where people first comment me for my tutorials being so helpful and informative and blah. And then they ask me for presets at the same time. To me, that is an oxymoron, you know? Because uh, you're actually supposed to follow the tutorials or make notes during the tutorials, watching it, you know, to see step by step what to do. And then you go into your program and you try it yourself. But apparently some people are not up for that task and they would rather go to shortcut and just have the presets. Well, no. Um. I know I have shared some presets in the past. And, but that was only because I did it mostly for stuff that's not easy to use. For example, with the Podex 3, a couple of months ago, I have released some of my presets that I used on the album Sloan. And in connection with that, I also made a tutorial on what impulse responses you can use and how to mix the tones so you can get uh, an acceptable tone out of the Podex 3. And I did that because I know that with this particular piece of equipment, it is, qu is, it is quite hard to get good tones out of it. I mean, I struggled with it for about a year or so, and yeah. I also remember the two tutorials I did after the release of Triton. Uh, I also shared a preset from Isotope Ozone 4. And <laughs> let me tell you right away, that was a stupid thing on my part, because mastering presets are probably the most useless things in, in my opinion and in my experience because mastering is highly dependent on your mix you know you always have to master according to your mix so a mastering preset is a preset that's done based on my mix but when you use it on your mix I can tell you it will most likely not work out. So when it comes to mastering presets, oh, just don't touch them. Also don't bother asking me for my studio drama preset from Native Instruments that I used on Chronicles because if you would have that and you look at it you would have no idea what's going on because I, I actually used three mixers to mix those drums. Not because those drums are hard to mix, don't get me wrong, those are awesome drum samples from Studio Drama. But simply because the mixer in Studio Drama itself is very basic and not very uh, versatile. You can't do a lot in that mixer. So I also had to um, multi-channel it. And to multi-channel Studio Drummer, 
in, in case you have watched my tutorial on Studio Drummer, you see you also have to send them through the Contact 5 mixer. All the channels, you know, and then those go into the mixer of your DAW. So I used all three mixers, Studio Drummer, Contact 5 and my DAW to mix the drums. So if you only have the Studio Drummer preset for me, then <laughs> it won't help you, not one bit, okay? There you have it. Presets won't help you understand anything much better and I will not support laziness. And it would make my tutorials pointless. So I hope you can understand my points. If not, 